There are five stages or periods of infectious disease caused by microorganisms. These are the incubation period, the prodromal period, the period of illness, or the acute period, the period of decline, and the period of convalescence. Here I've constructed a graph to illustrate these stages. On the y-axis is the number of microorganisms within the host, and on the x-axis is time. Starting with step one, the microorganism must first gain entry into the body. Then the microorganism must find a hospitable place in the body to enable and start a colony. Step three, the microorganism can start reproducing. These three steps are known as the incubation phase. Then from step three, during this time the microorganism will start to reproduce and the number will increase to the point where you may start to see a signs and symptoms. So step four, the prodromal period is where early non-specific symptoms will manifest such as fatigue, headache, fever, loss of appetite. These symptoms will result from the activation of the host's immune system. Moving to step five, following the prodromal period is the acute or, or the period of illness. This is where the infectious disease with the clinical manifestations will reach a peak and be most severe. The length of time of this period will depend on probably two things, the virulence of the pathogen, how nasty it is, and number two, the host's resistance or how good the immune system is. If it doesn't resolve, it will increase and manifest into sepsisemia and then finally death. In step six, the number of pathogen in the body will start decreasing and the signs and symptoms will begin to decline. However, during the period of decline, the host is susceptible to secondary infection and ongoing injury, which can manifest as a chronic infection. Finally, step seven, the period of convalescence, the host generally will return to normal and make a full recovery. Now, let's use COVID as an example. Step one, SARS-CoV-2 virus will enter the upper respiratory tract via aerosol or droplet entry. Step two, the virus will bind to ACE2 positive cells in the upper respiratory tract and undergo replication. This lasts a few days. However, it's important to note that the patient may be asymptomatic here, but is infectious. And here they may be found positive with a swab PCR. The virus will continue to propagate down the respiratory tract and infect more cells. So the number of organisms will increase. This period, the incubation period can last between five to six days, but all the way out to 14 days. Step four, the prodromal period manifests with fever, malaise, and dry cough. The majority of patients won't go any further into the acute phase, rather they will start to go in the period of decline, which I'll come back to. Stage five, about 20% of COVID positive patients will progress to the acute phase and things like cytokine storm and acute respiratory symptoms will be seen here. If these don't resolve, this will progress into acute respiratory distress, shock and multi-organ failure, and then lead into death. Step six and seven, the median period here from symptoms down to recovery is about 22 days, but it's important to know a significant amount of patient will experience symptoms beyond 12 weeks, which is known as long COVID. And these symptoms could be extreme fatigue, shortness of breath, memory problems, loss of smell, and joint pain, just to list a few.